Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Chief Shepherd, May 31. Shepherd the flock of God which is among you, serving as overseers, not by compulsion but willingly, not for dishonest gain but eagerly. 1 Peter 5.2 God's care for his heritage is unceasing. He suffers no affliction to come upon his children, but such as is essential for their present and eternal good. He will purify his church, even as Christ purified the temple during his ministry on earth. All that he brings upon his people in tests and trial comes that they may gain deeper piety and greater strength to carry forward the triumphs of the cross. There had been a time in Peter's experience when he was unwilling to see the cross in the work of Christ. When the Savior made known to the disciples his impending sufferings and death, Peter exclaimed, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. Matthew sixteen twenty two. Self-pity which shrank from fellowship with Christ in suffering prompted Peter's remonstrance. It was to the disciple a bitter lesson, and one which he learned, but slowly, that the path of Christ on earth lay through agony and humiliation. But in the heat of the furnace fire, he was to learn its lesson. Now, when his once active form was bowed with the burden of years and labor, he could write, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Addressing the church leaders regarding their responsibilities as under shepherds of Christ's flock, the apostle writes, Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being ensamples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of life that fadeth not away. Those who occupy the position of under-shepherds are to exercise a watchful diligence over the Lord's flock. This is not to be a dictatorial vigilance, but one that tends to encourage and strengthen and uplift. Further reflection, how can I affirm the leaders in my life who help to shepherd God's flock?